So who is your favorite cow? Lala. And why? Um, Lala. It's Layla. been Layla. Yeah, Layla. No, Lala was the first one. Um, that's been I don't know how many years ago, a long time ago. Um, but she was one of my show cows. Oh, did you win ribbons? Yep. Okay. I could tell that cow was special. Yep. Okay. You're most underappreciated. Me, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> most under. Well, you have uh, you have nowhere down to go then. Well, I think right. Kay is the most underappreciated person here. <laughs> Let's just be can't honest. Go any lower. And you're being honest, huh? Yeah, she's the most underappreciated <laughs> person here. The she, most underappreciated. She may be. She may be. <laughs> I'm the keeper of everybody. Keeping everybody sane, yes. This is my favorite spot of the farm. You can see the trees behind us, the, the ridge of trees. You can see the church down this way. It's one of my favorite spots. Dixie, what do you think about farm life? Dixie. Dixie, hey. <laughs> What is it about dairy farming that you would not like as well as beef farming. Seven days a week, two times a day. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Seven days a week, twice a day milk, and that's what I would like. Yeah. <laughs> she lets me stay when I don't want to work. Yeah. And you always find something to eat when you're there. Exactly. Uh -huh. There's and always drink. food. She always likes to drink. She first thing she does is hit the refrigerator. No, I hit the couch. And the and candy and the candy jar. <laughs> <laughs> hey. If there's ever a pandemic, you want to come to our house. Yes. yes. I promise you. The freezer. You've been prepared. Yes. Uh, we have anything and everything. The, how want. many freezers? So I got one the question to ask. Is. I know that you love these animals. Really? I can see it in your eyes. What's it like when it comes time to have a ribeye? It's not an attachment like, yeah. like, like the dairy cattle. The dairy. You're kind of attached to them. Yeah. These cows are raised for beef, so... I we mean, know where they're going. Yeah, we yeah, know where they're different. going, so they don't mind. You don't mind eating us. What is it that you think makes your beef special? Mm. You know where it's going. They're raised with love. <laughs>
What's it like farming uh, with the two daughters? <laughs> it's not too bad. I they, saw they, them drive they the do, tractor. They do a really good job taking care of things. Uh -huh. And they're, they get better every day. Well, obviously, when you've got big husky farm hands on the, the guys, you know, they can throw hay and all that. But you have ram bales. What is it that women bring to the farm that's special? A little... A little more. <laughs> they tend to have a little more patience. A little more patience. Yeah. So you're saying men don't have to have much patience? Huh? No, not really. <laughs> I could outwork any boy you've ever had. We are raised with love. Where's your favorite spot on the farm? Favorite spot? Uh, out there by the calf hutches, just because I like the babies. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to figure out how to incorporate your smartphone into farm life? <laughs> yeah. What have you done with your smartphone that helps farm life? That helps? Mm -hmm. When Uncle Dale calls us and needs help. Did you come running? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
beef cows, you can feed them at 10 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Dairy cows expect you to be there twice a day at the same time each, each day, 6 and 6 or 4 and 4.